I've kicked him a few times. He's kicked me a few times. <laughs> the worst thing is we're really good friends away from the game and we still speak. Steven Gerrard. I think for me, he was possibly the most complete midfielder, not only ever seen that I got the privilege of playing with. Like when I first went to England, as soon as he passed the first pass to me, I knew I had to have my A game every day of training. There weren't no like shortcuts, you had to be ready all the time. To be fair, club level, I think I'm going to have to give it to Drogba. For me, the way he did it, what he brought to the club at Chelsea, he played up front on his home. And the majority of the time, he man-handled a lot of back fours. Not even just the centre-backs, wherever he pulled wide or wherever he stayed in the centre, he, he always done not only what was expected of him, but a lot more. And he scored goals and created them. And, and he did that on a consistent level. I think I might have to say Craig Bellamy. He was really, really quick. Like, quick, quick. And then there was Nicholas Anelka. He was at max speed from like the word go. It never took him like any time to build up. Ashley Cole. Being a winger and playing against someone like him is a nightmare, to be honest with you. Like, um, we had some <laughs> really, really good battles. I've kicked him a few times. He's kicked me a few times. <laughs> the worst thing is we're really good friends away from the game and we still speak. But uh, once we crossed that white line, we pretty much to a point hated each other. Joel Cole. Not only was he a very skillful player, but on the ball, he's passing, he's moving. He, he was great with all stuff like that. When I went back to Man City, I'd have to say Robinho. Although he was lazy and didn't run much, but when you're talking about skills and technical ability, he, he had had a lot, to be fair. Tevez. When we used to play like five and seven asides, like it was almost playing with like, when you had to defend like a man sent off, he would never like defend. And he would just walk around in training and he would go hang. But okay. in a game, it was a complete different person. Door folded. I don't, I don't like class like Mbappe now as like a young player. To me, like, do you get what I mean? Mbappe, Jaden are like they're in the they're in the real world now. They're like they play all the time. They're fighting for Champions League, but to break through in the team that he has broken through in at the Pacific time as well, because Man City is not a hard place to get. It's a hard place, sorry, to get into. With all the players, you have to think about like the players that he's coming in in for is players that are like 24. 25 in the, in the grand scheme of things they're not even at that peak yet so they got like at least another seven years of playing at that level if not could get better and he's managed to find a way through with his ability there's not many players that do that I'd have to say uh, Micah it's just he's just like I think you've seen him when he does Sky Sports like he just he makes even Roy King laugh like I think that's possibly the hardest thing to do <laughs> <laughs> so, like that he's just that is him all over like wherever he is he brightens up the room everybody's laughing and you, his laugh is infectious mm -hmm.